in this video i'm going to be showing you how to edit wedding photos using adobe lightroom welcome back to the channel my name is tjam and in today's video we're going to be editing some photos using adobe lightroom as i just mentioned and those photos are going to be wedding photos and i didn't take these photos personally myself i got them from envata elements and it's a pretty cool set of a bride and groom and it's about five or so photos and envata elements is the sponsor of this video but we'll talk a little bit more about them later on and i have something really really cool that you don't want to miss that's also from envato elements so be sure to stick around to the end of the video you don't want to miss this so here i am in lightroom and the first thing i want to do is i want to import the photos that i'm going to be editing right so what you can do you can go to file and then import photos and video or you can drag and drop them in and i'm going to drag and drop them in so I already have my folder open and I'm just gonna select all of them and just drag them in, right? So all my photos are selected and all I'm gonna do next is just go ahead and click import. And Lightroom is gonna open all my photos for me, right? So here they are all loaded and ready to go. I hope you guys can see this properly. <laughs> And all I have to do now is just go ahead and switch to my develop module or press D on my keyboard, right? Now we can go ahead and start editing and fiddling with our settings as we like, right? And all of these photos that I got from Envato Elements, I'll link them in the video description. So if you have an Envato Elements subscription, you can download these and edit with me. If you don't have a subscription, you can go ahead and try Envato Elements for free for seven days and you can also download these images with that free subscription right so the first thing i want to do is i want to turn off this information display right here all i'm going to be doing is pressing i on my keyboard and it's gone and let's just cycle through the photos and see what we have so we have this nice nice little garden you know slash courtyard image here we have another one here of them on the lush green lawn we have an up close or medium shot of the bride and the groom interacting. We have the same, well, more of a posed shot in the courtyard, you know, with the brick wall behind them, the building, possibly the chapel or the reception venue. And we have a variant of this same scene, right? So what we're going to be doing is probably we're just going to edit like three or so out of the five, just to give you a general idea of how I would go ahead and edit my formals or posed photos from a wedding day all right so let's go back to the first one i'm just navigating with my arrow keys here and i really like this courtyard one this like wide shot it's nice and i also like this full body shot here on the lawn so what i'm going to be doing is pressing b on my keyboard for my quick collection to just add it to the quick collection that way i know which one i selected let me just bring this up some more for you guys so you can see the thumbnails here i'm just going to go ahead and press b or you can set the rating you know to like five star four star three star all the way down to one seeing that we're working with such a small collection of photos i can go ahead and press five or i could flag the picture or i could um label the picture with a color label that way when i look down here in my um my row of photos here right i can see from these thumbnails the one that's selected the ones that i like right so i have this one marked with red let me go ahead and mark this other one with red here you know by pressing the red here also setting it to five star also adding it to the quick collection by pressing b and i also like one of these i just need to decide which one it is i really like this one it's not too fancy you know but it just has a nice like regal look to it if that's the right word so let me go ahead and press B to add it to my quick collection, press five to make it a five star image and press six to label it red as well. So there I have my three selected images from my set. Now I can go ahead and start tweaking some settings. All right, so if you're brand new to Lightroom, here's what I wanna show you. Over here on your right hand side is where you have all your controls you know i have some earlier tutorials i have an entire lightroom playlist that you can watch to get familiar with the workspace but for this particular tutorial i'm just going to be going over the basics right so here's where we'll be making all our edits right and this is where all our presets are saved over the left hand side and we're just going to be working with the tools on the right hand side here 
in our basic tab, right? So what, that, what you can do first is you have the temperature sliders or under your white balance controls, you can turn your temperature all the way to the cool side or all the way to the warm side, right? Let's go back to zero by double clicking right here. And all I'm gonna be doing is just bumping up the temperature a little bit to the warmer side, or maybe I should go to the negative, right? That looks pretty cool. The tint looks fine to me. Maybe let's just add like three plus three, right? Or maybe plus five, that's fine, right? And then the exposure looks fine. Maybe I want to add some contrast, right? You see what's happening when I move the slider all the way to plus a hundred. Now let's see what's happening when I go all the way to minus a hundred, right? It's really washed out. Let's double click to zero it out. And let's just add back a little bit of contrast about plus 20 up there about and then let's take off some of the highlights so we can get back some of this area here on the dress let me try and shrink this back down so the image fills the screen <laughs> um and then i can just remove the highlights as i was saying there right and pay attention to what's happening to her dress see you can see the veil right here you can see the veil and the dress let's go back to to zero with the highlights and then when i go all the way to minus 100 you see what's happening right we get back all of that detail that's pretty cool and it's also a testament to the photo this photo was taken with a canon um, 5d mark IV. by pressing i on my keyboard i can see the information it was taken with a canon 5d mark IV um, 85 millimeter 1.2 lens that's a pretty awesome lens trust me no joke but let's get back to the highlights here and if i were to go back to zero Let's just do like a minus 40, about there. That's pretty cool, right? We don't want it all the way grayed out or washed out. We just want to be able to see the details. You want to be able to see all the details in your whites and your blacks or as much detail as possible. You don't want it to look like this where it's all like blown out, right? Especially if there are details on the dress as cool as they are right here. You want to be able to see those, right? All right, let's go back out. And the next thing I want to do is probably just add a little bit of black, just a little, little bit, right? And then clarity, maybe like a plus nine or plus 10, nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead and hit the Y on our keyboard to check out our before and after Y. And this is where we were, right? And this is where we are now, right? Let's continue. We aren't quite done yet and then Let's go down to saturation and just bump it up like by plus 10 because we're going to go down to our color mixer or HSL, you know, and we're going to um, improve on some of the individual colors, you know, like the greens in the trees, the green and the yellows, the red in the brick wall behind them, just a little bit to see what we have control over, right? So let's go ahead and touch the greens. I'm under my saturation tab, under my HSL controls here. And I'm just going to move the greens all the way over to minus 100. And you see what's happening there, right? See, there's, that's where we were. This is minus 100, right? Now let me go to about plus 50 there. About. Let's bump the yellows and see what happens. The yellows is also affecting their skin tone and their hair. Well, her hair because they're more Caucasian, right? So let's not do too much yellow. Matter of fact, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Let me see what the orange does. The orange is completely affecting their skin tone. See that? So we definitely don't want to touch the orange. We can just add a little bit of saturation into the yellow. Just a little bit, right? Let's see if we have any aquas in the trees behind them. Yes, we have a little bit right here. Pay attention to what's happening here. Let me go back to zero. See that? There's a little bit of aquas in there. Let's just do about 30. That's fine. Nothing too crazy. Let's go on the bouquet and see what happens when we do some blues. See that? But the blue is also affecting the blue of the suit, right? Zero it out. See that? So maybe we'll just do a little bit of blues. Let me see. Maybe just a little bit, right? And it gets even cooler here. You can go to the hue tab under HSL just the same. And then you can find your same colors that you just tweak. I just tweaked the green for the trees and then I can go all the way over to the negative side and you see the green is becoming more of a yellow kind of autumn fall looking leaves, right? So let's do about minus 70 there about. That looks good. I really like this so far. Let's do the yellows and see what we got. 
right this also looks good so let's do minus 70 on the greens and about minus 20 on the yellows not too crazy i'm just showing you how to get as creative as possible here with your wedding photography no what i want to do next is see the before and after so to do that i'm going to press y on my keyboard and here we are let me just close these two tabs on the side and look at this you can see the creativity in the green and the yellows of the trees that we did here and it's giving a giving a, giving it a nice modern edit right so let's go back let's turn back on our tab on the left here with all our controls and let's go to my curves a little bit and let's just lift it just a little bit right just ever so slightly um, we're definitely not overdoing it. Uh, do I want it? Let me see. Just, just, just such a slight difference. Um, just a slight difference. Let's go ahead and just keep it. Let's look at the before and after. But before I do that, this wall over here is a little bit leaned in the frame. Maybe so the camera was held. Let me hit R for my crop and straighten tool and let me just straighten the frame until those lines over here are straight that it's just throwing me off as simple as it was it's really just bothering me so let me just go ahead and this is cool it's perfect i love this as is let's do y for before and after and here we are and then let me see what i got here so this is the after this is our before right and you can see you can literally see the difference here, right? Let me go back down to the color mixer, of the HSL, sorry, and then just tweak the reds. Um, the reds aren't doing much more than um, lipstick a little bit, so it's fine. I mean, we can get much more creative than this, but I just wanted to give you the general idea of the power that you have here with editing your wedding photos. No, if I were to move on to one of my other selected photos, all I could do here is just go ahead and copy all of the changes that we made here except the crop and straighten because obviously every photo is not going to be the same you know as it's aligned they're all not going to be aligned the same so let me copy the general settings here which are we were under our basic tab we were under the tone curve we were under the HSL so let's go ahead and just keep those as is with the Lightroom default settings and then let me go ahead and hit copy right now what I can do next is I can go ahead and just find the other image, the next image in my selection and just paste this onto that. And I wouldn't have to slide the sliders anymore like I just did. It will all just be automatically added for me. Now let me go ahead and hit paste and look at that. This is the same tone and look as the photo that we just edited. Let's go to it. See that? Same look, same yellows, same washed out green in the trees behind them the only thing i'd probably do here in this photo is just tweak the exposure a little bit right so it's not as dark and it's a little bit brighter now let's look at it see that just the same same look and feel or wedding set is becoming more and more unified right now what's even cooler say you don't want to go ahead and copy and paste all the time all the settings all the time right what you can do is put all of that we just all of that that we just did onto a custom preset right now what you would do is you would go ahead and find your preset tab which is right here let me close this and you can hit the plus sign right here and then all you have to do is go ahead and hit preset let me go ahead and name it lspv 106 lightroom preset uh, let's name it Lightroom Wedding Preset because this is the 106th episode and let me not do the exposure you see because the exposure was at plus 40 and from the previous photo it was at zero let's leave that at zero so let's just uncheck exposure and if you don't want to say if you don't want to save a particular setting onto your preset you can just uncheck it right so by me unchecking exposure it will save the exposure at zero by default or it won't affect the exposure on whatever photo you're slapping your preset onto, right? Now let's go ahead and click create. And here's my preset right here under user preset, LSPV 106 Lightroom Wedding Preset. How cool is that?
Now what I can do is go to my third selected photo. Remember the wide shot that we chose earlier? I can find it right here because it's highlighted red. It has five stars as well, right? Here we are. And all I can do now, all I need to do now rather is just go over to my user presets and just click on that. And there, all my settings are added. Let me hit Y for the before and after. This is where we're coming from here. And this is where we are now with our preset, right? And the only thing I'd probably do to this is just bump up the exposure by about 0.2. Not a whole lot, just like that. Here we are, this is our before, this is our after. What do you guys think? And if I wanna save these to promote my editing or to promote my wedding photography on Instagram, Facebook, or my website, wherever I want, all I have to do is just select the photos that I want to export, or, or if I want to select all of them, I just hit Control and A, and then I can just go ahead and hit Control and E, sorry, Control, Shift and E to bring up my export module. And all I can do is select a folder. You can customize these settings all as much as you want. I have mine set to export it to the same folder that I got the photos from that I'm editing. And then within that folder, I am creating a new for folder called Lightroom Edits. And then I can name the photos, the edited photos within that folder. So LR Edits, LR means Lightroom, obviously. LSPV 106 um, Wedding Edits, right? And this, this is gonna be the name of my folder right here. Now I want my photos to be named lspv 106 wedding edits and it's going to be called wedding edits 001 002 003 because we edited three photos and of course you can tweak more settings as you see fit just go ahead and mess around and get familiar with the export module and all i have to do next is click export so here is my first edited photo here a really wide shot i like it i didn't have to do much editing here with the lines or the background because it's all straight i have our next photo here or close-up you know or medium shot ish i really like it here and we have the final shot against the brick wall in the courtyard and they all have the same look the same feel and the same color palette i'm really loving what we're able to do here and we could not have done this without these awesome photos that we got from Envato elements and if you don't know what Envato elements is i use Envato elements every single day in my editing in my producing these youtube videos for you guys whether it's with background music stock photos like these to edit with and practice with that you can do too or if it's video templates for social media or my youtube videos you know intros outros and that kind of stuff and invite elements has a free seven day trial that i mentioned earlier that you can try for seven days to see if you like it and during that seven days you can download unlimited stock photos unlimited music unlimited stock video anything you want unlimited for seven days with that free trial and when you fall in love with it invite elements wants to give you 70 percent off a month's subscription from their website 70 percent off all you have to do is hit those first links in this video's description no remember earlier i said i have something really really cool that i wanted to share with you from Envato Elements, it gets better. Trust me, Envato Elements, they're outdoing themselves with this one. Envato Elements wants to give one of you a year's subscription from their website, one year for free. Yes, for free. This is no joke. You guys have heard me talk about Envato Elements time and time again. They've been one of the biggest supporters here of my youtube channel that has enabled me to bring you guys these awesome tutorials and to think that they want to give one of you guys a subscription from their website for free for one year is is just beyond humbling when i think about it i really appreciate what they're doing for you guys and for me as a content creator and all you have to do to enter and win that one year subscription giveaway is just 
leave a comment on this video. You can find more rules in this video's description as well. So Envato Elements is here to support us. They're here to support me as a creator and they're definitely here to support you guys as my subscribers. We're all in this together. And Envato Elements even has a tutorial channel of their own. All of the assets that you can download from their websites, they have tutorials for a lot of those same assets. All you have to do if you want to go ahead and do a free course. Yes, they have free courses here on YouTube. I'm talking hours of training here on YouTube for free. All you have to do is check out their Envato Toots Plus channel, Envato Toots, that's their tutorial channel. It will be linked in this video's description as well. So here's a quick recap so you don't miss anything. Seven day free trial from Envato Element, 70% off a month's subscription from their website. Our giveaway starts right now as you're watching this video. All you have to do is leave a comment on this video and tell me why you want to win that one year for free and check out Envato Elements tutorial channel here on YouTube. It is a good day to be a content creator or a creative. So with all that we did here today, have you ever edited wedding photos before? Know that you saw all that we did here today. How confident are you to try your hand at wedding photography editing let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching this video once again my name is c jam and i will see you guys in the next video